Under the current confident and supply arrangement uh, between uh, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, um, my party uh, secured a commitment that available resources are allocated on the, on the basis of at least two to one split in favour of public spending over tax cuts. This has been exceeded in Budget 2017 with a three to one split between spending on services and investing in our citizens and reduced taxation. Uh, the ERSI have demonstrated that it is the least well off who will benefit uh, most from Budget 2017 in proportional terms. That being said, the gains arising from Budget 2017 are modest uh, and nobody really will be substantially better off uh, because of it. Uh, the Budget and the Social Welfare Bill provide for an increase of uh, five euro a week to core social uh, welfare payments. A Fianna Fáil secured agreement on increases to the state pension in the confidence and supply arrangement. We also welcome the increases in weekly welfare payments to carers, the disabled, uh, lone parents and the unemployed. It is imperative that the benefits of a growing economy uh, and our improving public finances are distributed to all of those who depend on the state for a significant proportion of their income needs. Excluding the state pension, this is the first increase in weekly welfare rates since 2009 and will go some way to ensuring that the social welfare payments that these groups depend on to maintain their income keeps pace with the modest inflation which has occurred uh, over the last seven years. A core objective of social welfare payments is to provide recipients with a minimally inadequate adequate standard of living in the context of that which prevails in Irish society as a whole. Uh, therefore, subject to the continued improvement uh, of our economy and the public finances, we should aim to ensure that the relative position uh, of uh, welfare recipient, recipients into the future keeps pace with increases in, in average earnings. We also welcome the increase in the Christmas bonus to 85% of a person's weekly social welfare payment. Uh, this will assist individuals and families in receipt of long-term social welfare supports with the additional costs of Christmas expenditure. Uh, can, Corla, can I say something in relation to the uh, free travel scheme? In, in June 2014, Age Action Ireland felt compelled to launch its campaign, Hands Off Our Free Travel Pass. It seems that a working group uh, comprised of representatives from the National Transport Authority, the Department of Social Protection and the Department of Public Expenditure and Reform uh, wanted savings to this uh, scheme. Uh, options considered included uh, a restriction on the hours of use of the pass, uh, the imposition of a small subscription charge and the introduction of restrictions to one mode of transport. Uh, thankfully, nothing came of this in Budget 2015. But the pressure from civil servants and others to modify this scheme will continue and we have to be vigilant. This small benefit has a significant impact on the lives of our elderly people. It allows them to get out of the house, to travel to all parts of the country, uh, to engage in social activities, uh, to get out uh, to the shops further afield uh, and does more than anything else to combat social isolation. Its effects uh, were revolutionary when it was first introduced. It should not be touched, Ceann Corla, and all of us uh, should support Age Action Ireland when they proclaim hands off our free travel scheme. I, I also wanted to uh, say something about uh, community law and mediation. Uh, community law mediation, formerly the Northside Community Law Centre, is an independent community-based organisation that works to empower individuals experiencing dis disadvantage by providing free legal representation, education and mediation services to the community. At a national level, it seeks to have a wider impact through its campaigns for law reform and by acting as a resource for other uh, advocacy uh, organisations. Um, community law and mediation is part funded by the Department of Social Protection. Its funding is regularly uh, under threat, I think, from the Department. Uh, the Minister, Leo Varadkar, is, is launching uh, its annual report on the 30th of November. Uh, and I would just put in a, a word for it here that its funding should be maintained. It's providing an invaluable uh, service. Uh, and it should be not just maintained, should I say, but it should also be increased. 
Uh, on another issue then, uh, Ceann Corla, uh, one key area that the Social Welfare Bill does not provide for is increasing uh, equality uh, of access to the contributory state pension for a considerable uh, amount of women. A number of women have been in contact with me in recent months highlighting their inability to access the full state pension. Presently, there exists an anomaly in the system whereby a woman who exited the workforce prior to 1994 to look after her children or a relative is not entitled to disregard years spent outside the workforce when their social insurance record is being calculated for pension purposes. The effect of this is that many of the women who took time out of the workforce prior to 1994 may not have enough contributions to access the full state pension. In contrast, those who left the workforce since 1994 to raise a family or care for a relative are entitled under the homemaker scheme to have up to 20 years of time spent in the home disregarded when it comes to calculating their yearly average social insurance contribution, thus making it easier to qualify uh, for the full pension. Uh, the Government should seek to move towards a situation where ultimately women who exited the workforce prior to 1994 have the same pension rights as those who currently benefit under the Homemakers Scheme. A, a concerted effort to, un, uh, to, to end the unfair treatment that these women experience would represent a strong statement that this country values the social contribution of everyone who took time out of work to care for their family. It is essential that future budgets move to ensure that women who have taken time out of the workforce to care for children or a sick or elderly family member are not penalised when it comes to calculating uh, their entitlement to the uh, contributory state pension. In conclusion, uh, by its responsible approach to government formation, Fianna Fáil has achieved a greater emphasis on fairness and improving public services after years of underinvestment. While, uh, we, while we have experienced a considerable improvement in our economic fortunes in the last three years, a sustained commitment in future budgets is required to ensure that we can guarantee a social recovery uh, for all our people.